right, folks, we're listening to this Tuesday, which means it's time for us to talk about what is opening this week, brought to you by our friends at AMC Theatres. There are two films coming out here, but Ashley, why don't you tell us about them? All right. Well, one film goes from limited release to wide release, and another brand new film will hit theaters this week. Today, we're talking about the new film, The Forest. When her twin sister disappears in Japan, a young American named Sarah, There's played Mark. by Game of Thrones' Natalie Dormer, <laughs> becomes a turn- invisibility isn't working. Damn it. <laughs> to find out what happened to her. Sarah's investigation leads her to the legendary Aokigahara Forest, located at the base of Mount Fuji. Accompanied by expatriate Aiden, she enters the mysterious wilderness after being warned to stay on the path. Her investigation plunges her into a dark world where the angry and tormented souls of the dead prey on those who dare to explore the forest. Mark, should people be looking forward to the forest? I mean, I think so, just from those two images and Ashley's description. I haven't even seen a trailer for this movie yet, and that's on purpose because I'm seeing it tonight, and it's kind of fun to walk into a movie knowing virtually nothing. It sounds intriguing to me. I know it's not the best release date in the world. First weekend in January usually doesn't uh, rhyme with Oscars, but... It's something that, it's a premise that I like. It sounds scary, sounds like it could creep me out. And for God's sake, if somebody in a movie tells you to stay on the woods or stay out of the woods, you just don't go in the forest. <laughs> you just don't go. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I, I, I've been intrigued by the premise. I'm gonna say though, I, I wasn't impressed by the trailer. The trailer, I didn't, I didn't think it was awful garbage trailer, but I didn't think it was all that good. But still, the premise is intriguing. And I have been waiting for Natalie Dormer to get a break, to mm -hmm. lead something big on her own. She's been a supporting character in so many huge things and always crushes it yeah. when she is. Um, this is an intriguing one to really see her in a, in a big feature film, wide release that she's leading. This is an interesting one for that. But still, the premise, her leading it, it seems interesting enough to me, despite the fact that the trailer didn't do all that much to increase my excitement. So I am looking forward to it. I'm going to go check it out. Yeah, I think she's a great actress. I think this movie looks like a giant steaming dump. I mean, seriously, <laughs> I'm not going to see it. If it was called The Trees, I might go see it. That's the all trees. I can, That's all I have to add. By M. Night Shamhammer. Yeah, that's right. The Trees Whisper or something. Maybe they added The Forest is Alive. Then I might go see it because it would sound even dumber. So, <laughs> so, it's, so it's dumb, but it's not dumb enough. It's not dumb enough for me to actually care about this movie. Even though she's a really talented actress, I think that this is one of those like, it's in between job for her. Like, yeah, I'll do the forest, you know? Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.